Hey guys, my name is John Dahl and welcome back to another video. This is a before you buy video of Creamy Friends. This isn't financial advice, it never is. I just want to get straight into the video. This is just quicker. I d I'm not here to waste your time. I just want to get straight into the video. So um, today we're talking about Creamy Friends. It's a hold to earn, play to earn liquidity, like a decentralized casino, which I really like. I'm really liking the, the gambling projects here recently. Um, I think the art looks super sick and it seems like they've gotten a really genuine community built over here. Uh, they've slowly just been chipping away. I've been looking at their general. Like I'm always looking like how active are people um, are people really talking to each other are they having genuine conversations like are they having whitelist conversations or not uh, all I'm really seeing is genuine conversations and you know good active community which is what I like to see a uh, cool thing is their their team is also doxed which I'm really liking that um, I always like a docs team uh, makes them you know way more accountable for the project how well the project does and it puts a lot more pressure on them and then it makes you really want to um, follow through with what you're doing and yeah that's the like the demands of being doxed is, is really big so very interested to see that they actually are docs which is always nice obviously all these links are gonna be down in the description below you guys can go check them out down below but yeah, they actually used to have a Genesis collection, and their Genesis collection is trading pretty well on Magic Eden already, sitting at like uh, um, 10, was it a 10 soul floor? Yeah, now at 11 soul floor. Um, so they've already seen success. They've already seen pretty good volume. Now it's just a matter of them being able to implement uh, this again. Uh, they are going for that, you know, whole staking is going to be ready day one, which is al always good. Obviously, they're going to get a DAO um, ready to go. Um, they already have a metaverse demo, um, which is pretty sick. I'm, I'm interested to see how the demo is going to play out. It seems really cool in the back here. Uh, obviously, like, you know, anything that's anything that's got like that type of stuff going on is going to be super cool. So very interested to see like where this project goes. For the most part, I, I honestly, I like the whole style. I like the style because it's more got that like... Um, it's got more of a colorful style, which is usually good for current demand, current state of the market. Like you're always looking for different projects with good art. And yeah, honestly, I'm liking the simplicity of, of it all. I'm really interested to see what their casino is going to be looking like. Uh, and yeah, their on-chain game is you know, supposed to be fun. But really, it's just a matter of how much can this team implement. Uh, I, like I said, they have a lot, a lot of pressure, you know, putting um, a docs team out there. That's always really something you want to know. So yeah, everything from um, their mint and supply is going to be to be announced. So um, they haven't really announced that yet. It's still an early project. Uh, very interested to see where they take this project. I think the sneak peeks have been looking good. People are certainly interested in the project. Um, you're always looking for reactions and people getting in and that type of stuff. Now, I will say the whole whitelist meta has certainly not done its thing. Um, depending on this price, uh, I feel like a lot of these best plays are usually on the secondary market. I have made some of my best trades recently on the secondary market. Um, just getting in after the fact, uh, you know, when people start dumping their rares or um, what would say they don't get a rare, they usually people start dumping on the floor price and you can get really cheap um, NFTs for, for, you know, pretty good price. And then say, you know, the project hits, you know, the volume catches or whatever it is, then usually these projects like to pump afterwards. So I'm certainly going to be looking like afterward market, um, secondary market, uh, just trying to see like what they stoop down low to after people get, you know, see what they get. Because that's sometimes the best times to get in. Um, usually, um, it doesn't get any lower than that. And if the project catches, people like it, or people start getting in, say their game starts to hit, or whatever it is, then you know you got in for their lowest entry point, and you can't really complain about that. So uh, definitely going to be looking at secondary. I feel like this is going to be a secondary play. A lot of these projects recently kind of feel like a secondary play to me. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to dump below mint, which is just the most interesting thing to me. I never really understood that, especially especially if they're going to have staking day one. Like that's another thing to you want to account because if, if they are having staking day one people are either going to dump and try to get you know their money back and then that or they're just going to start staking immediately which is really nice um, but really interesting to see how this project goes could be a special case who knows but i'm definitely going to be trying to scoop up on secondary if that even happens and yeah super excited for this project but uh, overall liking what i see liking the docs team i'm liking the way that they present their info um, they do have a nice website which is always good you want to see you know um, how well put together are they you know, roadmap is super simple, but super clean. Um, they're not trying to overbear you with any information, but they certainly are doing a good job of just yeah, um, giving them general guideline as to what they want to accomplish. And overall, really liking what I see. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to go check out my Discord and my Twitter, uh, everything's going to be down in the description below. So you guys go check that out. Uh, pretty much for my Discord, I'm just trying to give out free information, alpha, all that good stuff. Um, it's still brand new, so I'm definitely trying to build that up. And then my Twitter is more just talking about projects. I'm trying to get in on good mints. I've been doing uh, except. except 
exceptionally well recently with my trades. Uh, I'm super excited to keep rolling with that. And I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity um, to come along in Solana right now. I think right now is one of the perfect times to get in. If you are brand new to Solana NFTs, uh, I also have a tutorial. You can go check that out. It's on my pinned uh, video right now. Uh, it's a beginner's guide for dummies for Solana NFTs. And I would go watch that, bro. Even even if you're a little bit experienced, I, I definitely gave away some pretty useful information that I wish I knew um, when I was getting into NFTs. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out big time. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out. John Dalton.